Why is gold so important? Throughout the history of mankind, gold has always been of tremendous value. It adorns our bodies, it powers our technologies, it founds economies and empires. Gold has been the catalyst for war, the foundation for empires, and the base for an entire branch of science unto itself. Gold is a chemical element with the symbol AU from the Latin word arum and the atomic number 79, making it one of the highest atomic number elements that occurs naturally. In its purest form, it is bright, slightly reddish, yellow, dense, soft, malleable, and ductile metal. Chemically, gold is a transition metal and a group 11 element. It is one of the least reactive chemical elements and is solid under standard conditions. Gold often occurs in free elements like nuggets or grains, in rocks, in veins, and in alluvial deposits. It occurs in solid solution series with native elements like silver and is often naturally alloyed with copper and palladium. Gold is resistant to most acids. It is insoluble in nitric acid which dissolves silver and base metals a property that has long been used to refine gold and to confirm the presence of gold in metallic objects, giving rise to the term acid test. Now being a relatively rare element, gold is a precious metal that has been used for coinage, jewelry, and other arts throughout the recorded history of mankind. In the past, a gold standard was often implemented as a monetary policy, but gold coins ceased to be minted as a circulating currency in the 1930s and the world gold standard was abandoned for a flat currency system after 1976. A total of 186,000 tons of gold exists above ground as of 2015. The world consumption of new gold produced is about 50% in jewelry, 40% in investments, and 10% in industry. Gold's high malleability, deductibility, resistance to corrosion and other chemical reactions, and conductivity of electricity have led to its continued use in corrosion-resistant electrical connectors in all types of computerized devices. Gold is key to advanced technology. Gold is also used in infrared shielding, colored glass production, gold leafing, and tooth restoration. Certain gold salts are still used as anti-inflammatories in medicine. As of 2018, the world's largest producer of gold by far was China, with 450 tons per year. Of course, what stands out about gold has always been its color. It is the only metal of this color. Gold's characteristic yellow color is due to the particular arrangement of its electrons. When alloyed with other metals like silver or copper, it has different colors according to the percentage of the alloy. One ounce of gold can be drawn into more than 80 kilometers of wire. One ounce of gold can be beaten into a sheet covering 9 square meters. Gold has a very high efficiency for the transfer of heat and electricity. Gold has the highest corrosion resistance of all metals and is, and is corroded only by a mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acids. Gold is a noble metal because it does not oxidize. Two thirds of the world's gold is mined in South Africa. Alchemy was a branch of science that focused primarily on learning to turn a base metal, lead, into a rare and noble metal, gold. The importance of alchemy is in its role as a foundation for modern sciences like chemistry and physics. Alien theories behind the importance of gold tell us that gold is a very rare resource all over the universe. And any advanced civilization with the ability to travel between planets would have a high need for gold. So this makes Earth an ideal target for some species who wants to steal our gold to power their technology. We even tell the story in modern mythologies like Cowboys vs. Aliens, a story about aliens coming here to steal Earth's precious resources. 
Gold is also heavily talked about in mythologies of all kind. The Ark of the Covenant, which was a golden covered device. The golden apple, which was eaten and inferred immortality. Sumerian mythologies of Enkidu and Enlil directly talk about the creation of man was to help them remove the gold from earth. They literally made humans in order to do that labor of pulling the gold out of the earth so that they could take it back to their civilization. So the, in, in that Sumerian mythology, the foundation of earth was really just to be a work colony to secure gold for this advanced civilization. Exactly why gold is held in such regard may remain unknown. But what we can agree upon that as a culture, we value gold at the highest level. It has become unto itself a standard for excellence. We can agree that gold has been the basis of economies and empires all around the globe. We can agree that any future technologies will require a higher demand for gold as we produce the type of circuitry that advanced technology will require. Can I say that there are aliens who are going to come to Earth tonight and strip you of all your gold and put you in a gold instruction work camp? No, I can't say that there are, but probably. <laughs>